So you've recently installed Windows 11 and now you're looking to install Warzone on your computer. I'll walk you through the steps so you can get started. So let's take a look. So here we are at the desktop of Windows 11 and we want to get Warzone installed on this PC. So we're going to open up our browser and head over to Google. So inside the Google, we're going to type in uh, Blizzard Entertainment because that's the this is the official website that creates uh, the Battle.net app. Blizzard.com is the official URL, so we can click on this website and it's going to go to the home page. And what we want to do is download the Battle.net app. So we're going to click on games and right over here you see Battle.net app and that's what we want to select. So we're going to click on this and we're going to download the version for Windows. There's one available for Mac OS, but that's not what we're going to be doing right now. Clicking on this to get to the Windows one and it's going to automatically download on our computer. So here it is up at the top as it's downloading right now. And we just click on open file, say yes to the prompt when it gets prompted. And what I'll do is I'll just minimize this window so you can watch me install it clearly. So we're about to install it. And the options that we have available is the default path is going to be on your C drive. It's also telling you how much space is required. It says 300 megs. If you want to change this path, you just have to select it. So if you want to change this path and install it somewhere else, like a, a different drive other than C, you can go ahead and do that right here. Uh, I'm going to leave mine as default for this installation and I'm also going to leave this checkmark box selected so when it's done it'll launch the Battle.net app. So we'll click on continue and it's going to begin this installation. Okay it's done and you can see that the shortcut is on the desktop right now. Now it wants us to sign in. Now if you don't already have an account you can click on this link right over here and you can create a free one using your email address and you can also use Facebook, Apple, or Google. Now I already have an account, so I'm gonna just log in, but the process will be very similar. I'm gonna be logging in with my Google account, so I'll select that. It's gonna open up my browser, and I'm just gonna select my account. It's happening on a separate screen. Okay, so we're all set, and we're gonna go back to the app, and it's gonna log us in. So it says can't find any games because we haven't installed any games. So we can just close out of this, and then we can close out of this. And as you can see, there's lots of different games that you can install. And we're going to be installing Warzone because that's what everyone wants to see right now. So I found Warzone over here. It's selected as one of my favorites. So I can click on that. And what we want to do is install it. We're going to click on the install option over here. At this window, you want to make sure that if you do not have enough space, because this is a giant installation, it's almost 90 gigs in size. You want to make sure that you are installing it in a location where you can actually store it. So on my computer, my C drive does have enough space. But if you don't have enough space, you can click on change folder and inside here you can select another drive, whether it's a D drive or a C drive or a E drive or any letter that you actually have on your computer that has more space available because it's giant. You want to make sure that you have enough because as it does upgrades, you might run out of space. So I'm leaving it as default. But again, that's where you're going to change it. Now, if you want to have a different language, you can change your languages from here by selecting language and you can check what other language you want. And um, I like to have my updates auto enabled so it gets updated immediately. And I also like to have a shortcut on my desktop so I have that selected. So once you have all this set up, you can go ahead and click on start install. And it's going to download and install everything on your computer. You can see over here, it's starting to fetch the files. It'll take some time to start downloading it. And uh, what I'll do is I'll skip over to the end of the download and continue the installation. So the download's now complete and we're ready to start up the game. So we have the Warzone game already selected and you can see down here, we have the option to click on play. Now, before we get started, it might actually wanna do an update. We'll see if anything like that happens. Let's click on play, see what happens. All right, season six, we got the option to now start playing the game. We'll get into there it's gonna load it up. Here we are. We're at the main screen of Warzone, ready to go. And it's been installed on a Windows 11 PC. That's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. The longest part is actually just downloading it and allowing that big 90 gig file to download on your system. But you're up and running. You have Warzone running on a Windows 11 PC. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you do enjoy the video, please give me a like. I'm trying to get to that 10,000 subscriber mark. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one, guys.